my name is Alex, I'm a patchwork nerd, and I am enjoying my first glass of eggnog. I really can't recall ever having eggnog before, and I think I'm in love. It is also snowing outside, so I have all the holiday vibes going, so I am ready to make another Vlogmas video, even though this isn't Christmas related. A while back, I created a video about 10 random facts about me, and I decided I wanted to do that again for Vlogmas because I just think it's a fun way for you guys to get to know me, to get to know some weird, quirky things about me and about my life, and to also know some things about me that aren't just writing related. So I made a list of things that I wanted to share with you guys. So let's go through 10 fun facts about me. Yay. Fact number one is something that has happened very recently. I am obsessed with watching clips from a show that was in 2008, I think. It was a BBC talent show called Over the Rainbow where they were looking for the girl to play Dorothy on the West End production of The Wizard of Oz. And it's like eight to ten years old and yet for some reason i have been watching the clips all the time the girls showcase different songs and dances and they are all so talented and i just love listening to the music in the background for just inspiration or when i'm writing i don't know why i'm so obsessed with this show maybe it's partially my theater background maybe it's also partially envy because i wish i could sing that is the one thing i was in theater my whole life but i never was in musicals i never did any dancing things because i can't sing and i can't dance got two left feet and absolutely no idea what tone is so I don't know why but I have been watching that obsessively and I really like it. Fact number two is that I am obsessed with star imagery. When I was a kid in about fourth or fifth grade I started signing my name with stars on either side of my name so it would be star Alex and then a star after the X. I don't know why I did this for the longest time until I got into like junior high and stars have just always been really important to me. I've got actually a wooden star over here that my mom gave me that dangles over my desk. I've got my little star Christmas lights or I guess they're fairy lights technically. I just love surrounding myself with stars. I feel like they are just like my good luck sign in a lot of ways and and I feel like stars will always follow me throughout my entire life. It is one of the things that I'm tempted to get a tattoo of is just like a small little star. I'm also tempted to get a bat tattoo, but that's a different fact for a different day. Fact number three is that when I like a movie or TV show, I tend to repeat watch it a lot. For example, this probably started when I was in like fourth or maybe third grade I would come home every day and watch Charlie and the Chocolate Factory I had the VHS tape and I would just watch that over and over and over and now that I'm thinking about it it didn't start with Charlie and the Chocolate Factory I should be mad at myself because the first movie that I obsessed over was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles I loved the first one but the second one I watched that movie so many times and I would always want pizza my poor mother because I would just be like I can't eat anything besides pizza because I'm watching Ninja Turtles today. I watched that movie so many times that if you turn that movie on, quotes will start coming out of my mouth involuntarily. It'll be like as simple as breathing. I just know so much of that movie, even though I haven't watched it in years, it's just embedded in my, my being at this point. And the same goes for Hocus Pocus. I watched that movie so many times. I still watch it every Halloween season. I can never get enough of it. I always watched it and wished that I was a witch and I would have like big encyclopedias that I would pretend were my spell book and I would like go outside instead of playing normal children games I would like pretend to build a fire and then get a cauldron and be putting ingredients in my cauldron. I just love repeat watching things as many times as possible once I decide that I like them. Fun fact number four is very bizarre but I thought it was kind of fun to include on this list. I was obsessed with horses when I was a kid. I had the Barbie riding horse game that you got to pick your horse and then you went on these little adventures with your horse and I just loved anything to do with horses except I did not like reading books about horses. I tried to read several horse related books because I thought as a kid hey I like horses I'm probably going to be into this book 
nope every book I tried I absolutely hate it there was one book I'm not gonna say the title because I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings I don't know if it's actually a popular book but it was a required reading in fourth grade I decided that I was not gonna read that book like that book just infuriated me I just skimmed through and figured out kind of roughly what happened in the book just by inferring and I wrote a whole paper and got an A on the assignment about this book and that still kind of guts me that I did that as a child but I just hated this book my sisters will still bring it up like how much I did not like this horse book I don't know why it rubbed me the wrong way I don't know why horse books just did not appeal to me even though I love horses and I have always wanted to ride a horse but I never have ridden a horse before so maybe someday I'll be able to check that off on my bucket list fact number five is related to me and my husband and this actually came up in my last live stream so I thought it'd be fun to include here my name is Alex as you guys probably know but my husband's name is also Alex. Yes, I married a man named Alex. And to be fair, I go by the nickname Al. Like everyone in my family calls me Al long before we met each other. And he just calls me Al and his family calls me Al. It's just very interesting when you introduce yourself to people and they're like, hi, I'm Alex. Here's my husband, Alex. And then they always are like, oh, is your dog's name Alex? That joke doesn't get old at all. Honestly, it doesn't really bother me. And I know a lot of people are like, wait a minute. So do you have the same last name? Yes, we are both Alex Van Horn, but he is Alexander and I am Alexandra. We both have different full names, so it doesn't make tax season or mail as confusing Although every so often we have to clarify with people like hey just heads up. We're both named Alex So don't get mixed up about that because you might it's really cool And I think it's really cool being married to a person with the same name and it, it's not weird to me to me He is Alex and when I think about who I am as a person I don't feel like I've lost my identity or my name or anything because in my mind I identify more as Al than by Alex. It's awesome Fact number six is about our dog and no his name is not Alex. My dog his name is Willie W-I-L-L-I-E and he is actually named after Willie Nelson. The shelter we rescued him from actually had named him Willie and his mom was Delilah and she was adorable and his brothers were Waylon and Merle. So they were all named after country singers. It felt like a sign when we came across Willie on the adoption page because right before that when we had decided we wanted to get a dog we had watched this movie called Our Idiot Brother or My Idiot Brother I forget. The name of the dog in that movie is Willie Nelson and then we found literally Willie Nelson the dog and it just felt like all the stars were aligning for a while We were debating changing his name after we saw him on the adoption site We had referred to him as Willie so much that's like no, there's no changing his name He's Willie and he's always been Willie although he technically has his big boy name and it is Wilbert It suits him so perfectly some people are like, oh, well, what about William or you know something like that And it's like no, he's Wilbert. He's just cute little Wilbert and I absolutely love him and if you're wondering, my best guess, because he's a mutt, our best guess is that he's a Whippet Retriever Lab Mix. If you saw him run, you would understand where the Whippet's coming from because that dog can fly. Fact number seven is something also related to my name. My full name is Alexandra and my middle name is Jean. And my sisters, being as wonderful and kind and loving as they are, decided to give me the nickname Alexandra Jean Green Bean and they still lovingly refer to me as green bean a lot of times and it's fine i'm not bitter or salty about it at all fact number eight is that for my day job i am a social media specialist i'm not gonna say where i work because <laughs> privacy and all of that i full time for a living work in social media and it is awesome and i am literally working my dream job and i love every moment of it. Fact number nine is that my favorite spices are cinnamon, sage, rosemary, and paprika. I also like things to be really spicy, so like sriracha or things with a kick to it, I absolutely love. My favorite kind of chips are these jalapeno kettle chips. Like, I like things with heat and a kick to it. If you want my favorite, like, overall spices, cinnamon in everything is good, like, in, in this. I've got nutmeg in here too. I do also love nutmeg. Paprika, I literally put in everything. Everything I make 
has paprika in it. Sage is a really comforting spice for me because it reminds me of the stuffing that my mom would make for Thanksgiving when I was a kid growing up. And I never really had sage in other things until I moved out and started cooking on my own and I started experimenting and I was like, sage is just a really comforting spice. I really like it. And then rosemary, oh, there's just something earthy and rich about rosemary that I absolutely love. Guys, if you ever have my mashed potatoes, I don't just do bland butter and milk mashed potatoes. No, there are so so many spices like as much as there's colors of the rainbow that's what my mashed potatoes are like with spices like every spice you can think of is probably in my mashed potatoes so if you want really good spicy mashed potatoes come to my house I'll take care of you and the final fun fact about me is that I am a water sign I am a Scorpio and yet I do not know how to swim I sink as soon as I get in the water. It is not good. I, I swear I can sink with a life jacket on. That is how rigid I am at all times. And I just have troubles being able to float in the water. I just can't get a feel for the motions that go into treading water. I just can't figure out the mechanics that go into swimming and staying not in the bottom of the water. It's just, it's not good. I absolutely love being in the water. Like if I'm gliding across on a canoe or in a kayak, or if I am just kind of like floating on an inner tube or a bubble bath, like I love being in the water. Trust me. It's just, it's just when the water's deep and there's the risk of not being able to get back up that I get really edgy and not so great. And I also get seasick really easily. I love being out where a boat is moving really fast and you can feel the air rushing past you, but I get sick so easily. Dramamine is my best friend. There you have it. Those are 10 random facts about me and I would love to learn some random fun facts about you guys. So if you could leave those in the comments down below, that would be awesome. Thank you again for joining me for another Vlogmas video and I will have another video up tomorrow. So I will see you then. And as always, remember, keep writing or keep creating, keep laughing, and most importantly, please keep encouraging each other. I will see you tomorrow. Ah, it's still surreal saying I'll see you tomorrow, but I'll see you tomorrow. All right, toodles.